Hello everybody and welcome back to season 26 of the Pokemon NASCAR series. Today we're at Homestead Miami Speedway for the running of the Ford EcoBoost 400. The third race in the chase and with just after this there'll be just two races left this season. And one more race before the championship finale at Zen Joltis. A lot on the line here at Homestead just like every other race. Justin Carter is your pole setter today, and Landon McRae on, on the front row as well. Alex Rayo, Leah Walker, row th two, and John Arnott and Igor Barreto make up row three. Ben Miles, Sam Rogers, Paul Minnick, and Cody Smore make up the top ten. And Sir Cully starts 20th, Peroni 23rd, Hawkins 26th, um, Acevedo 32nd, Carter 35th, Nichols 36th, Jefferson 38th, and McPherson 40th. So, a lot on the line here today in the chase. And will we, see, will we see a chaser lock his or her spot into the finale? Or will we see an underdog win like we saw at Indy with Angel Olvera? So, here we go. Let's take you trackside for the command to fire up the engines. Drivers, start your engines! Things are going to get really dicey from now on talk about editing here at OBS that's the benefit of OBS you can change things on the fly and I love it so now we're gonna go to the green flag pace car down 27 laps at Homestead Miami as we're about to go green flag here at Homestead by the way this is a different Homestead than normal we usually go to the one that's very banked but for this season, I decided to change things up and go with the regular up-to-date Homestead Miami and see how that one goes. Because everyone, I guess, is tired of super speedway-like racing. We're going to have two more coming after this, so this will be a nice break. And the last regular track we run in, we run um, anywhere. And now Carter leads on the second first lap of the race. Whoa, that high line is really, really no grip. So that high line, better avoid that one. Carter trying to have that middle line. That middle line has worked well for him. Here comes Ragow for third place, and he will get there. Third is the 14. He might get second place. Who knows? Strategy is to stay in the middle at this track, apparently, as the high line is just really bad. Terrible. Ooh, boy. Bunched up cars. Had to back off a little bit. They didn't want to rack. Don't rack each other. You might have a race to win here today. Leia Walker, he wants, she wants the lead. Can she get him? It looks like she might get him here. Carter has been the better driver, though, in the middle. Leia Walker is going to take the middle line away. Question is, will she keep it? Here she comes again. Leia's got the lead. Look at John Arnett, though. Going to get second place, maybe. Is he going to get second? He will. Nice run there by the 42. Now second is John Arnett. Good job. 42, he makes it. Alex Ragow, third place now. And now Arnett leads. He just zooms by the 98, takes the lead. I like this track. Honestly, I think it's better than the other homestead we had before because the other homestead relied on fast speeds. And things were going a little too fast for our drivers. And had built some big, spectacular crashes. But this track, though, is true to Homestead. To the Homestead in real life. It's really remodeled. It looks beautiful. And more importantly, it just races better. It just has a nice, smooth grip to it. This Homestead, just particularly, is really, really smooth. And that's what I like about this. For once, we take a break from the super speedways. I know you guys are probably tired of seeing super speedways and wanted to change. So this is definitely a big change, a big step in the right direction. 
for the Poma NASCAR Series. Since the next, the lot in the last two races this season are at Super Speedways. And I know you guys wanted a change of that. Arnett leads again. If he wins here, he's a three-time winner, and more importantly, a spot in the championship five. He could become a three-time champion. There's the possibility that the John Arnett could be a three-time champion with two different cars. He was in the 24 when he won two championships, and now he could be. He's in the 42 with Ch with Chip Ganassi. He could be also a champion. How weird is that? John Arnold, no matter what car you put him, he's always going to be good. And he is a Pullman NASCAR legend. Ben Miles, though, gets the lead from the 42. How about second place, Sam Rogers? Second place now trying to gain on to the lead. William Brock in second, in third right now. Brock, by the way, has a win this season. And he won his only win so far this season was at the Glen. Now he's hoping to get back to victory lane here today on an oval. Ooh, John Arnett was a little too high there, and he is going to get passed by the seven. Battle for the lead. Sam Rogers going to get to the five machine got him Rogers gets it Rogers his old he's the only G RCR car to have not won this season Curtis by the way won in the super snack 500 and Nichols of course two-time winner this season he in the chase hoping not to be the third wheel here in the RCR group Rogers has been in the 31 for a couple seasons and he is trying to win again. Here comes the five again. Going to retake the lead. And the five machine retakes it. He's got it. Ben Miles is now the leader again. Ben Miles trying to get back to victory lane. He's just had a bit of a dry spell in the past couple seasons. Hoping to erase that. John Arnett. Trying to gain on the five. 98 as well. Is this going to be a three wide battle? It might be. It won't. Leia decided not to really challenge for the lead yet. We could be seeing pit stops. After a wreck filled race at Indy. This was a much needed relief. For these drivers to go caution free again they went caution free by the way at the super snack 500 last time so this could be another caution free race we could be seeing here today that'd be a benefit for these guys because they don't have to worry about when the wrecks come second place is now Leia Walker at this point they should have just one pit stop and that's it they could make it the rest of the way on just one stop. But well, the question is, though, when will they come to pit? We saw these drivers come to pit last time, the Super Snack 500. They pitted with just five laps to go. That set up the race. That set up the finish for Curtis to win. The question is, will there be any risk takers? 12 to go at Homestead, and John Arnett is getting battled by Leia. Leia, by the way, has a win this season and has won the All-Star Race, so she would be a three-time winner technically if she wins today. And there's our Indianapolis winner, Angel Olvera, in the top five again. Will he become a two-time winner in two straight races? Both would be chase races. That's something amazing. It's amazing to see the 15 compete here again at home. Here again, looking to win again. That'd be something. John Arnett going to battle again. 10 to go. Oh, they're going to pit. Now there's pit stops. And this time, though, not, the, not any of that overtake cheese. Last time, these drivers went too fast on pit road entering, and it caused chaos. But this time, 
This track allows them to um, slow down to pit road and makes things a little peaceful. Much better again. Another thing, another thing that's that makes this track much better than the last version we go to. And the other leaders come to pit. But the 48's gonna stay out. Peroni stays out and he wants to win this race. He knows he has to win this race so he can make it to the next round so that he could be a championship contender. Question is, will Peroni's strategy pay off? The same strategy DJ Curtis used, by the way. Curtis used this strategy too, and he won the Super Snack 500. But will it happen to Peroni? Will Peroni be a winner? He's too high. He's way too high. Can he save himself? And it looks like he just barely saved himself from disaster. But it's going to cost him some time. Wow, he saves himself from total disaster, but it's going to cost him some precious seconds. Wow. I I thought that he was going to miss his stall. He was going to really get loose, and he's only going with two tires. He's only going to go with two tires. He is going, he's off. The question is, will it pay off? 11 seconds, by the way, he was last scored. Here are the other drivers. Here comes Leia Walker. And Leia's going to go by easily. Yep, she goes by. Everybody else goes by. So that slip up there cost him. He was going to run the same strategy DJ Curtis ran to win. But he slipped on his way to Pitt Road. And it cost him some precious seconds. He could have been a contender for a win if he had stayed on track and really just kept his car in control. What a shame for Peroni. Because that win could have propelled him as a, a championship contender. John Arnott now second. He has a chance to be a champion contender. But will he do it? Will he hang on? Arna would be the first three-time winner this season. Leia, of course, only one regular season win, the All-Star win, so she's not technically a three-time winner. Here comes Olvera for second place. Olvera looking to go back-to-back -back in the chase races. That'd be something completely magical. Winning two straight chase races is amazing. Olvera was under the shadows in the early parts of the season and now he has risen up and he is a competitor he wants to win he already won at Indy now he's trying to add Homestead to his um, resume he's gonna have to get by Ben Miles he does Justin Carter getting in the top five everybody else closing in on Leia quickly Four to go. No caution so far. Pretty good and clean and green, and I love it. Gonna allow Arnett to pass. Here he comes for the lead. Can John Arnett make it? No, he doesn't have enough. John Arnett came up short, or does he? Still on the bottom, still can win this race. Three to go. He might be saving it for the last lap. But if a caution comes out, race is over. He better do his move now. He's going to do it now. Yes. Justin Carter going to help him out a bit, or this might be part of his plan. Arnick gets the lead. Two to go. He's got a lead. Leia's almost in the wall trying to get some line. Wow. Leia was on on the wall. Oh, Leia's not done. She's not done. She's going to compete for the win. She wants to win this thing. She's going to do it again. Try for a pass. Oh, Carter was trying to dart to the middle there, trying to get a good line. Can't do it. We're coming to the white flag. One lap to go. 
It's Arnett versus Leia Walker for the win. Justin Carter, he needs a miracle. He's going to try for second place. Here we go, final turn. Carter has one more chance. Can he do it? Leia's on the high line. Carter trying it hard. He won't get there. And Leia Walker will come off the final turn to win at Homestead, Miami. And John already hit the wall. He really tried hard to get into the win, to get to the win, but he couldn't do it. He hit the wall. Wow. That's how hard the 42 was trying to get the win, and he loses it. But Leia Walker wins again. Two-time winner in the regular season. If the All-Star Race counted as a three-race win, Leia Walker has just had one of her best seasons of her career and really spoiled anybody any chaser of advancing to the next to the championship with a win so it's all going to be decided in Talladega Talladega is where the championship 5 will be chosen oh boy is that race going to be fun everybody finish the race just like at the super snack 500 Maybe I'll try to make the AI tighter so that we could see a couple wrecks or two next time. But that's it from the soup. That's it from Homestead. We will see you at Ta Talladega, where the championship five will be determined. Hope you join this. Hope you enjoy this race, and we will see you at Talladega.